Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good, and today's question is another one from Dirt is Better Than Diamonds, who asks about biosolids. He's gonna buy some compost, and then he hears, well, there's biosolids in this compost, so what's the deal with that? Um, what, what do I think about biosolids? I think they're, <laughs> I think they're great in theory, but in actuality, I don't like them at all. Now, you might think that's kind of crazy because I believe in composting everything. I literally wrote the book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting. And we compost basically everything that goes through the house, including our own waste. So I've got a composting toilet system in the house, but I don't like biosolids. And I'll tell you why I don't like biosolids. The reason I don't like biosolids, biosolids, I don't know, it's hard to say biosolids. The reason I don't like biosolids is because biosolids contain more than just biosolids. See, the biosolids, um, you think, okay, it's uh, it's some human waste, it's some urine, right? So it's like, eh, okay, whatever. They just cook it down and it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be safe. But a lot of these systems are coming from these great big septic sewer, massive city municipal sewer systems. So what else goes down the drain in those systems? How many people are using various drugs in those systems? Now I said I don't, I'm not really worried about you personally using your urine when it have drugs in it, but I don't want the concentrated drugs of say an entire metropolitan area getting into my compost or into my gardens. I also don't want the huge amount of various weird industrial toxins. Think if you've got an auto body shop and what's going down the drains in there. Think what might be going into the, the drain water system. Think of the various heavy, heavy metals. I mean, cadmium, cobalt, thallium, lead, arsenic. I don't want that stuff in my garden. So therefore, the biosolid system, though it sounds like, hey, we're gonna take a waste and turn it into a resource, it's been toxified by all the other stuff going into those biosolids. So there you go. That's what I think about biosolids. And yes, biosolids, biosolids, <laughs> Yes, biosolids are in a lot of compost, municipal compost, bagged compost. It's it's an easy way for um, them to dump off a problem on somebody else. In this case, dump a problem into your vegetable garden, dump toxic waste into your vegetable garden, and call it green. So there you go. That's what I think. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Today, I am in the homegrown Food Summit. The Homegrown Food Summit 2020 is going on, so this is a little bit of a late notice, but you can still watch my movie, Compost Everything, the movie, which is going... Mosquito's going on my face here. It is going to be up uh, right now, so I will give you the link below. You can sign up and watch it. Later this week, uh, I am going to do a presentation, the presentation on starting a garden from scratch with just a few hand tools, and you can see how I built my garden spaces. And... Uh, along with that, there's a whole bunch of other presenters, including Kevin Espiritu from Epic Gardening. I've been on his podcast before. Jeff Lawton and many others talking about regenerative agriculture, container gardening, and even how to eat roadkill. So there you go. All kinds of stuff. And uh, I'll put the link below this video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me for more Survival Gardener Minutes, which are never actually a minute. And there's my thumb. So I'm going to wish your thumb to also be green. Catch you next time.